Oduduwa launches first badge of new security network in Ogun State. The people of Yoruba have just made a shocking move that called everyone, including the government, shaking. Within the couple of few months, the region has experienced the satisfaction on the way the government of Nigeria has been treating the southern parts of the country. And this caught so many Nigerians talking left and right and center. Nigerians have been calling the government to do the needful <laughs> so that the, the bandit and the Boko Haram that be terrorizing them, you know, we cease. But it can't be like the government, they know they understand what the Nigerians they talk, whether they know they hear. Now, that one now will not understand. You know, Nigerians have been, you know, telling the government that the way you people are going about these insecurity challenges eh, that has been eating all the regions, you know, up is not the will because the way you are going about it, this matter of insecurity in the country is not going to end soon, you know. We know when they started this, Nigeria, uh, the government started with negotiating with the bandits and all that. Now, now the bandits can't grow big to itself. To the extent, they, yesterday, they went to Castina State to ask the communities that they should pay them protection fees for 10 million naira. That prote uh, protection fees, according to the bandits, uh, <laughs> we protect them. Whether Nigerians can they ask this question now? These protection fees that they are asking for the communities in the Castina State, are they going to protect them uh, <laughs> against police brutality or military? So the, the whole thing can't just tire everybody, you know. You see, the situation we are now today is really very, very devastating. And uh, we believe that this might have triggered so many agitation across uh, broad, broad, abroad, broad, south, uh, west, southeast, and middle belt. Many activists have said that it is only Nigeria breakup that can free Nigerians from depression. There, that is this depression where we did now. Depression of no food, the depression of insecurity. You get. Now, now, when we they manage ourselves, when we say money not day, food not day, Nigerians have been managing themselves, though we've been smiling uh, and, and suffering and smiling. We've been managing ourselves all these years. But this issue of when we say you go pass for a road, somebody go kidnap you, remove your head from your body, you go go your farm, then go kill you, you go sleep for your house, then go come, you know, slaughter your the, a whole family. So. This is the reason why Nigerians can't say this matter. Say they no go fit to come again. That the best thing the government should do is to look for a way to curb this problem of insecurity. Nam the Kano, who is the pioneer of Biafra struggle of the eastern part of the country, had made it clear that the government of Nigeria, especially under the APC administration, treats the Fulanese. Uh, perfectly uh, well favored while others are subjected to slavery. The popular Yoruba liberator, Sunday Igbo, who said Fulani has been had since the past few years committing murder, raping their own, and the government is mute about it. Government, he said government not just to talk about it, you know, you understand it. Say these people, they don't they rape their women, then they kidnap for ransom. They still the key. They still they destroy farmland. Then the government just decided to keep to, to keep mute. He also added that the time to liberate his people from the oppression is now. That this may be the reason why call for a referendum and independence quest has constantly been preached across Yoruba and Igbo land for for self-determination, which is enshrined under the character of United Nations. Few months, few months ago, the Eastern Security Network, ESN, was set up across the Eastern region to protect lives, properties, farmland, and stop illegal activities across the region when took effect immediately after its creation. It is exactly one step at a time for freedom. Recently, pictures of first uh, a batch of Western security network in Ogun State has flooded the internet. Another move taken by the Oduduwa Nation 
after declaring o, o Yoruba an independent state. Remember, Oduduwa had earlier released a national currency known as Fadak, which will be widely used across the region if the nation of Oduduwa is actualized, according to them. And this one, eh, Nigerians, when they talk, so many people call they happy, say this is what they want to, you know, do now. That the best thing that will happen to Nigeria is break up. Though so many persons have still been asking for restructuring of the country, but the funny thing about the whole thing, breaking up from Nigeria, restructuring the country, the government never really talk anything serious about all these things. Though, yesterday, uh, this week, yeah, the uh, the one of the media garabashi of the president uh, president president Muhammad Buhari said that they no go pay attention you know to waiting now they can oh, sorry uh, Asiri Dokubo and then Sunday Boo you know is doing you know, a bad agitation of uh, uh, Oduduwa Nation and uh, Dokubo the uh, Biafra government and all that that they have. So many serious things, so many important things to think about, not be their matter, be the problem. But though she just have it in mind that the best thing that will happen to Nigeria is one Nigeria, unity, you know, Nigerians should unite and all that. And Nigerians come, they talk, say, that's when they talk, say, not fake, you know, they talk. Say, you should forget about one Nigeria. Nothing, in, nothing like one Nigeria in this country because some, uh, uh, what is it called? Some uh, tribe is being uh, favored, you know, compared to the other ones. And Nigerians are saying that if you are talking about one Nigeria, treat everybody equally. We are all citizens of this country. This is our father's land. This country does not belong to a particular set of people. And all the Jews' position in the country is being given to the Fulanese and the Hausa and all that. And this is the, the main reason why. The Southerners are really angry that they are not being recognized in the country. South it say they won't go because of marginalization. Oduduwa Nation too say they won't stay with Kakomot. So hello guys, when I don't hear the matter now as it be, <laughs> let's hear from you. Kindly hit the comment section and don't forget to give us thumbs up. Also click on the notification button for more updates. Thank you very much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it.